Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we are going to be doing part two of the Timu accessory overall for the Lexus IS200. The part one video got a decent amount of views and I think you guys enjoyed it. So I wanted to make it guys a part two. So yeah, we got some more cheap stuff for the IS200, which are all already inside. And yeah, I'm gonna, I haven't opened anything yet, but we're gonna open everything, we're gonna review it, see what I got for the IS200. And yeah, that's about it. As you guys can already see, you can already see a few stuff in there already. But um, I got some pretty cool stuff, so let's head inside and I'll show you guys what I got. You know, these are like my favorite type of videos to make because they're so chill and they're so easy. And I don't know, I just, I just like making these type of videos where I don't have to break the wallet to get some cool stuff. And the best thing is that these mods aren't specific to the IS200. You can do it to any car, Prius, Civic, whatever car you guys got. But um, yeah, enough talking, let's finally get this thing opened. All right, so we've got a massive bag here. Um, we're gonna start off with the largest one first. As you guys can see, we've got a yellow package in there. So we're gonna open it up and see what it is. This is something which I've been wanting to get for ages. I got myself a JDM Japanese vanity plate. These are just sick, bro. Look at that. Would you believe me if I told you this thing cost me 65p? The quality, I'm not gonna lie, the quality is shit, bro. Look, look how thin it is. It's literally a piece of paper, bro. But it is metal, it is metal. But you can see it came from the delivery a bit bent. There's a bit of um, some dents here and there. But um, guys, for 65p, come on, like, I can't complain, can I? Okay, so this is the next thing. This is what I've been so excited for. I've always wanted to try these out. Like, I've, I don't know if they work or if they're any good, but I've always, always wanted to at least give it a go because they're pretty cheap. But, bro, how do I open this? This is universal ambient lighting, which uh, I want to pull a picture up here just so you guys can see what it's supposed to look like. But um, yeah, as you can see, you've got USB powered um, ambient light rope. I don't know what you're supposed to call this, but um, you can see you've got the lights here. Pretty cool. I do sort of have an idea where I want to put this. I'm going to show you guys when I do, obviously. But um, yeah, it just it changes color as well. You can see there's a little button there. So you're going to focus. There's a little button there. You can change the colors by powered by USB. And I think this is three meters, so it's decent, it's quite long, but um. All right, so the next thing I got is this universal uh, lip kit, I guess you could call it. Um, again, this is one of those things where I don't even know what they're really called, but uh, yeah, it's basically universal lip, I guess. And I've actually used this before. I made a video on this on my IS200, which you can see over here. And I also made a video on this on the Golf as well, like a good few years ago. But obviously now I've got the TRD kit in my eyes, Johan, so I did remove all of that uh, quite a while ago. I've got the original kit on it now. I actually got this because I was actually thinking of putting it on the front lip. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, but the front lip, it sits slightly higher than the side skirts. I don't know how they're going to look. I might just rip it off and chuck in the bin, but they were so cheap. I figured I might actually stick it to the front and see if it sort of levels it out a bit more and if it makes it look a bit more nice as well but honestly i don't know i don't know if it's gonna make it look really rice and tacky this is the front lip extension we'll call it for the is 200 which i got so oh. right i got two more things here these aren't necessarily accessories for the car but they're just so cool we got uh, these little keychains. um this is obviously a red steering wheel um pretty cool uh, the, the quality is pretty good and bro these are so cheap on timu these cost like 50p or 11p they're so cheap so yeah, i got two of these i got one steering wheel and this is my favorite one bro this is just sick this was like i think this was like 60p um it's a gearbox keyring you can, as you guys can see this would be like the perfect gift for any car guy and guys look you can actually put it into gear i swear down like legit i've caught myself playing with this so much like it's so satisfying it's generally so fun the last thing we got isn't necessarily an accessory but it's something which i really need it's actually this thing over here which is slightly leaked which is not really good basically this is nail varnish for wheels uh if that's how you want to say it but as you guys know i recently got brand new wheels on my is 200 but they are slightly curved as you can see they got some scratches on the edges and same for the front as well um not too bad but bad enough to be noticed and um yeah uh, this is basically black ink or black paint basically that will essentially just cover all of the scratches up and obviously my wheels are black and this is black as well so it should do a decent job of covering it up i'm hoping anyways um i've never tested this before it was super cheap again so i thought you know i might as well give it a try but yeah that is it guys the only thing left to do is to get these things on finally okay so i want to start off with probably the easiest thing that i'm gonna play i don't know where i want to put this um i'm probably gonna just chuck it at the back i'm probably gonna chuck it at the back 
All right, we put it on. That looks so sick. <laughs> I've always wanted one of these number plates, you know. Obviously, it'd be a lot more cooler if I could actually put it at the front or the back. Wait, wait, the front or the back? But obviously, I can't because I'm in the UK, so I can't eat it on UK plates. But if I forgot to a car meet or something, I can always just grab it from the back and swap it out just so, you know, it looks a bit more cool. So, on to the next thing. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do, I wanna put these on. I've been so excited to do these. Oh my gosh. Let's head inside. All right, so we're in the car now. We've got the lights ready over there. And my plan is I want to get this thing wired up. I want to do it around the edges over here. Just like literally all around where the gearbox, not the gearbox, but the uh, manual. Bro, oh, what's this thing called, man? We're going to put the ambient lighting around the gear stick area. So literally just all the way around there and back in. And I think it'll look really, really nice. Um, I know some people, they do put it around the edges over here as well. But in my opinion, I don't really like it. I think it looks a bit tacky. It looks a bit... I don't know, it's a bit too much in my opinion. Uh, unfortunately with the IS200, um, there's not really much like places where you can put these ambient lighting. Um, you can't really, you can't put it there. Um, you can't put it there, obviously that's where the glove box is. Um, here, I mean, there's nothing to put in here. You can't really put it in there to be honest. And the door cards as well, there's nowhere to put them. So yeah, uh, let's get this thing on. I've never done this before, by the way. I have no clue how I'm gonna do it, but let's see. Approximately 10 hours later, <sighs> Bro, this piece of shit ended up breaking. Like, <sighs> what the flip? This just goes to show, guys, um, <laughs> not everything you get off Timu is uh, good because <laughs> this just broke after bloody like an hour of me stripping this whole interior. Just to, so I've sort of done it, you can see, I got it in there. I was in the process of getting it in here, it's all lined up, but then bang, it just snapped and it flipping broke. Oh my gosh, man. <sighs> so annoyed, man. <sighs> All right, moving on to the next bit. Obviously, that was a total and complete utter flop. But we're gonna try out this thing now. This wheel curb filler, I guess. Um, yeah, let's see if it works. All right. So firstly, I'm guessing it's a shake here. So let's give it a nice little shake. And then, as you guys can see, got a lot of scratches on the whole edges of my wheels. Let's open it up and um, yeah, it's literally nail polish, but you can literally see. I guess, let's just give it a go, let's see. Oh shit, that is really black, isn't it? As you guys can see, um, so my wheels, they're actually like a satin black and this is obviously a gloss black. And um, yeah, I, I don't really think this is suitable for my wheels. I'm just gonna do all four wheels and then we'll see how it looks. All right, now I wanna show you guys the new results. And as you guys can see, it's done a pretty decent job, I'm not gonna lie. Especially considering I use a different color. Mine's obviously satin black, but the one I got was gloss black, but um, it's a lot better now, way better than before. Before this whole thing was curved, obviously you can still see the deep scratches, but because it's black now, it's disguised a bit more. Anyways, onto the final part. We're gonna try and make some sort of um, front lip extension uh, on the IS200 with this flipping foam universal front lip kit lip kit i don't i don't even know me all right here goes nothing um i'm gonna just start uh bro i'm a bit nervous i can't lie approximately 10 hours later guys we've got the front lip extension on what do you guys think um I'm a bit lost for words, like, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think, because in my opinion, bro, I think it looks sick. I'm not even gonna lie, I think it looks really, really, really good. Considering what it is, and considering how much I paid for it, bro, I can't lie, I think it looks hot. I can't lie, I'm actually so glad I didn't spend, like, £100 on a freaking lip extension, but, um, oh shit, it's falling down a bit, it's not good. But, um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And um, oh, bro, that actually looks so hard. That genuinely just looks sick. But let me know in the comments, do you guys think it looks nice? Do you think it looks a bit too much, a bit rice? I don't know, I think it looks nice in my opinion, but yeah, that marks the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this part two, the Timu parts. Um, it was a decent, decent find today. Obviously with the ambient lighting that flopped, it broke, but everything else, yeah, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments any other suggestions or videos you guys would like to see on the IS200. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.